Two boys, one brain cell. I'm Chuck Beeson. This is Joel Norton. How's it going, everybody? And today we're reacting to Bob Violin. Villain? Villain? Bob Violin? Vi Bob Villain, like kind of like Bob Dylan, but villain? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. And it is We Live Here. Yeah. And uh, this guy was at Riot Fest, or is it, I don't know if it's a band or if it's just a single person or what. Um, but they were at Riot Fest, and that's how I heard of them. And okay. then I kept seeing this pop up on uh, Spotify playlists and stuff. So yeah. I was curious. So you're like, let's react to it. Let's react to it. Let's do it. And we're going to send it. Ooh, let's get it. Guys, if you enjoy this reaction, make sure you do us a favor. Hit, hit that, that like. And subscribe if you really enjoy it. Come join the community, baby. Let's go. Before you come here, love me. Free school dinners for the poor, pizza with a side of misery. Teacher said when I leave, no one here will miss me. Didn't know I was a sinner, but if they say so, well, I must be. Big lips, white nose, God knows no one will trust me. Mum don't look like me. But thank God she still loved me Neighbours called me nigger Told me go back to my own country Said since we arrived This place has got so ugly But this is my fucking country And it's never been fucking lovely We live in a Town. Have a drink and puff your chest out Not a racist, you're just proud Why should you be left out? The fairies get a march And the nignogs get a month We've got the right to vote I mean, what more could we want? Free to go where I like If I look like I belong If not, fuck off Go on, boy, move along Remember Stephen Lawrence He too was free to roam 18 years old at the bus stop Murdered on his way home We live in a I was called nigger, I was about seven or eight years old. I was playing across the street and one of the older kids called me. I went home for bath time a little later and asked my mum what it meant. My white mum, she told me it was a bad word. We did in the <laughs> the, fu the fucking aggression in this song, dude. Lyrically, this this is this is a hard some hardcore lyrics. Dude. Um, it's the hot. understandable aggression, yeah, in this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This slaps. My goodness, you know when this song started, I'm like, oh, these vocals don't sound all that great to me. Yeah, they're all like, I don't know, and then. Literally hits one line and my entire perspective just flipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand the vocals now. They're very angry. They're very in your fucking face. And I'm just like, with good fuck reason. Yeah, get it, bud. With good reason. Absolutely. I'm all for this now. Damn, dude. These, <laughs> holy shit. So these lyrics. Tell you what, bud. Have a drink and puff your chest out. Not racist, you're just proud. Why should you be left out? Oh, my gosh. And then it goes off to say the ignorant things that uh, ignorant people say. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and uh, we've got the right to vote. I mean, what more could we want? <laughs> what? <laughs> well. Yep. Lyrically, this song is absolute fire. Yeah, for sure. It's got all the flames in all the right places. It smacks you in the mouth, punches you in the face, makes you rethink everything you thought, and it's just, hey, oh, we're fucking here. Yeah. I, I mean, we live here, I but we are here. I love that, him screaming, we live here. We didn't appear out of thin air. We live here. Yeah. And then at the end, he dropped the C word. Uh, you can tell he's from over to overseas. Yeah. I fucking love that. Yeah. 
<laughs> I was like, damn. Well, he got they got the point across. He was it two people? I couldn't tell if the person in the chorus was different or the same. I, I can't. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell either. You guys can drop down in the comments. But damn. They and did, I love they, um lyrically to set shit on fire. Another part I love. I went home for bath time a little later and asked my mom what it meant. My white mom, she told me it's a bad word. <laughs> and then that's how it ends. So it, it gives you a little bit of like the the like it's not everyone. It's just these ignorant people. Yeah. It, well, it's almost too like it gives you a perspective of what it was like growing up for him as well. Oh, absolutely. It, like a flash. So it wasn't all just like, you know. It, it definitely goes it to gave show. A, it gave a personal level to oh, the Oh, yeah. And that, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Things are still out there. Things are still bad. Things still need fixed. Yeah, it definitely hits on the ignorance of people, too. Oh, absolutely. Because there's a lot of that, especially in the bar scene up there. We're like, they're basically like, well, they got a March and you yeah. got a month. Uh, you got the right to vote. Why are you bitching? Yeah. Which is like oh, yeah. ignorant because oh, yeah. a lot of other issues systematically. Absolutely. Uh, there. And uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> Have a drink and puff your chest out. Not a racist. You're just proud. Yeah. And then you hear that one. Yeah. yeah. My goodness. Yeah. Damn. All right. Well, this one. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. A hundred percent. You want to jump into ratings here, Joel? Yeah. What do you got? <laughs> you would throw this right <laughs> at me, wouldn't you? I know what you're trying to do here. Uh, you know what? I'm going 7.6 playlist. The lyrics yeah. alone. The lyrics. They they slap. They blew me away. They they when your speech was at the end of a song because of the lyrics. Yes, and they hit home that hard, and especially being that uh, clearly this person's from uh, I'm assuming probably England. Yeah, right. I'm assuming. Yeah, that, um, and to still have that knowledge. And yeah, and it is sadly kind of relatable for like, especially I work at like. You know what? My rating's wrong. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, oh, yeah. I work factory, and oh, yeah. I, there's people like this that I have to deal with. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately. I've worked factory. I've been there. I've seen it. I've well, worked at the same well, factory, too. fucking problem. You're like, dude, yeah. stop fucking talking. Yeah, right you're, now. you're part of the fucking problem. You are a problem. Yeah. Um, And my my rating <laughs> was wrong. It's actually an 8.2 playlist. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 100%. I'm going to go 7.9 playlist. This lyrically is very solid. And like yep. I said, when it's your a sea you know an ocean away and uh it's relatable uh and you like you said it takes your thinking of things and flips it on the head some uh, in in certain ways right absolutely um yeah that, that's a solid ass song playlist for sure absolutely i ain't got nothing to what did you say your rating was 7.9 okay i was like shit what was it <laughs> i know that's what you did on purpose i know you did i know you did <laughs> But send us out, bud. Nah, it's your turn. Is it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I intro. I did. Oh, you stole my intro. You piece of shit. I did. Guys, we're two boys with one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton, and that is Charles Beeson.